Hi folks, welcome to Glasgow, welcome. It's a miserable day. Um, everywhere in Scotland today is miserable, so I just have to jump on the train, pay my £15 uh, Scott Hill special, and I'm headed to Glasgow today. Um, so I'm going to walk along the Clyde for a bit, maybe as far as the uh, Hydro, and then uh, cross into the old, uh, where the Glasgow Garden Festival used to be, back in the 90s. See what's left of that. We're going to try and get up to Hamden, but I think it's going to be too... Uh, not enough time and a quick ride on the metro on the subway to see uh, one of Glasgow's narrow platforms which are a bit uh, unusual but anyway let's head to the Clyde and see what we can see on today's little walk so the architecture in Glasgow is so different from uh, Edinburgh what's this we've got Spanish uh, is it Spanish anyway it's a monument there to somebody block blockade runners Anyway, as I said, the architecture here in Glasgow is so different to Edinburgh. Very kind of gritty and earthy and mixture of old and new here in Glasgow. Modern and kind of contemporary. Very arty city. Lots of old relics left amongst all the new buildings. So, uh, yeah. Don't have much time here today. Five hours, so we'll just have a walk in some of the bits to uh, let you see parts of Glasgow. Not been here for about three or four years. It's under one of the, uh, the bridges here. That's one of the old stands. I think that's an old bridge over there. That quite bizarre. A lot of weird bridges in Glasgow. We'll come to some of the newer bridges in a minute. The Squiggly Bridge and the kind of the kind of bridge that opens up. A lot of new buildings along the Clyde here as well, which we'll look at. There's a retro sign up here for the water bus. I don't know if it still exists or if this is just an old sign. A water bus. Must have been a water taxi at one point, I think, maybe over there. Don't think it still runs, but I'm not sure. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Um, oh, where are we? Across the bridge again. So it's about a 25 minute walk along to the uh, SECC. That way it's 25 minutes to the People's Palace, Glasgow Green. So welcome to Clydeside. Now that's a new building that I've not actually noticed before. There's a new bridge up there as well. Right, no shorts today, folks. We've got uh, tracky bottoms on. I had to buy an umbrella there because it was absolutely pouring down. It's kind of stopped it for the minute. Um, but I might start up again. But yeah, it's... Uh, that um, Witherspoons are nipped into there. I like going into the old Witherspoons that are kind of old buildings. That was the old Crystal Palace, which I think was a shop. Or a kind of... Not a factory, but maybe a... Yeah, maybe an old factory. Not too sure. I'll look it up. But it's still got the old windows and it's got the old lift and everything inside. It's quite interesting. I didn't have anything to eat or drink. Just been for a nosy. But we'll stop later for something to eat. Maybe get a Starbucks or something. I'm sure this is a new bridge called the Squiggly Bridge, which I've not seen before. I'm going to walk across it and then we'll walk back again. Um, I think it's fairly new. So we're on the squiggly bridge folks right in the middle of the uh clyde i don't think this bridge opens i'm sure the other one opens but this is definitely i think a new bridge the new uh barclays building there that i've not seen before but yeah you get some nice views here down the uh clyde there's another new building going up there as well yeah it's nice i like uh, unusual bridges it's nice it's like a big uh you see it actually you can't see it because of the Right, it's like a big archway thing. Right, so I'm actually going to walk along the other side of the uh, Clyde. So I've done that side a wee while ago. But way up there you can see the other bridge. And the hydro's up there somewhere. It's a laying waterfront. Was there maybe a factory here at one point as well? Not too sure. Anyway, above me there is the monstrosity that is the Kingston. I think it's the Kingston Bridge maybe. One of the busiest bridges in the UK about eight lanes of traffic or something when it shuts there's a uh, huge queues of traffic look at this though it's like a bit of a monstrosity isn't it really concrete city it's 
So I'll walk underneath the uh, the bridge. There's not a new construction going on over there. And then in front of me you can see the uh, other bridge, which is the one that opens up. So yeah, a bit of an industrial urban walk today. No beaches involved today, no sunsets and no waves. There's a mecca over there. I think Jag's been in there a couple of times at meetings and things. So now when I do some walks, people always say to me, can you put a map up, please, of where you're walking to? And I keep forgetting to save. Um, there's like a map route thing you can do on your phone. I keep forgetting. But you're going to Google Maps, folks. You can look yourself and see where I'm going to the Kingston Bridge. And then we've got the Mecca to my left. Just uh, have a look on your map and see where I am. So when I come to Glasgow, I always say get the train. Driving in Glasgow is a nightmare. I hate it. Every time I come here, I get lost. There's too many lanes. There's too many kind of turn-offs. Not enough notice. I end up going miles out the out your own uh, way. So, yeah, I'm a small town driver. Don't like the big cities. Fine in Dundee, I know it. Edinburgh, not too bad, but Glasgow, no, 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 no. It's a horrible city to. So I had to take a bit of a detour, folks. The footpath was shut, so I should have gone the other way. And um, I'm right in the middle of the main industrial estate area now. So I hope I can cut back down onto the. Uh, Riverside, I've not been here before, so it's always someone new to look at. Such as up there, it looks like some beautiful building with a big angel or something on the top. We'll go and investigate that before we cut back down. So, folks, this is officially Govan. You can probably tell, getting near Ibrox. Govan. And this is the home of Rabsy Nesbitt. Have you ever watched that on TV? Back in the, was it the 90s that was on? This is where he hung out in Govan. As you can see, a lot of flooding here today with the rain. I mean, some torrential downpours this morning. Right, let's go and see what this uh, angel thing is. Right, Glasgow's Grand Ole Opry, folks. I'm sure I've walked past here before, actually. That rings a bell. This uh, theatre. Right, that rotunda there. There's STV, that's all brand new. BBC's up here. This is all part, I'm sure, folks, of where the Garden Festival was held. Um, it was so vast. I've got old pictures somewhere uh, off it, which I'll try and look out. Me and my sister came. The festival park just up here, what's kind of meant to be left of it, but... Uh, a nosy. Look at that view through there, folks. Glasgow, old and new. Right, this festival park, nothing like I remember it, folks. I'm not even sure this is the right place, but this was uh, where some of the garden festival was. So we're going to see what's down here. There's nothing of interest. I'll just turn back. So it looks a bit right. Turn back, folks. It's just miserable down there. Just mud, and there's just nothing down there. So maybe on a summer's day we'll come back. But yeah, that was part of the. That's called Festival Park, and that's what remains of some of the garden festival. Mm. Right, you can tell we're still in Govan and Rangers territory. There's another Rangers pub, Loudon Tavern. Right, folks, it's pouring down again, so it's. Uh, <laughs> we just stand here under the trees for a bit and just wait. What a miserable, miserable day. But, folks, only on this planet once, it's only a bit of rain. Just still go out and explore, still see things you've not seen before. And uh, hopefully it's just a, just a shower. My £2.99 brawly is now in use. Right, it's still pouring down, folks. Now, there's the famous uh, Clydeside Crane, which I thought you could get up, but I uh, don't think you can. That's one of the monuments for the shipbuilders here in Glasgow. Right, we're going to try and get a sheltered place to get a coffee until this rain goes off, if it goes off. Right, so, we're down. <laughs> Eventually, you managed to find the footpath, because it's all blocked off everywhere you go. So, there's the uh, other bridge, which is a beautiful bridge. Um, might walk across that, maybe later. 
there's the uh, crane and across there we've got the hydro and the armadillo now until about three weeks ago that's where Eurovision was going to get held in 2023 that's going to try and go but uh, unfortunately it went to Liverpool instead and if the people came up on a day like this to decide where Eurovision was going to be held class must have looked so miserable anyway let's keep going folks try and get a coffee Oh, we do like to be beside the Clyde side. Oh, we do like to be in the rain. Hydro Armadillo. And up here we've got the BBC and the big uh, tower that you can never get off. It's been shut for about 20 years. Waste of money, but it's the tallest building in Glasgow and uh, you still can't get off it. I'll show you. Just up here is the Glasgow Science Centre. There's the famous glass of waterfall. Right, Aspire Premier Inn and Acosta. Let's see if it's open. You can even sit outside. Right, Costa saved the day there. Not quite as good as Starbucks, but they're always good. Sausage bap and a cappuccino. And the rain's gone off a bit. It's just going to be drizzling for the rest of the day. Um, weather rant. Right, OK. So the weather app today said the driest place. But then our area was going to be Glasgow. And the wettest was going to be Aberdeen. So I thought, well, we'll get on the train to Glasgow. Raining. And uh, Aberdeen. It's not raining today. So as usual, folks, you can never tell with the uh, good old Scottish weather. Anyway. Um, this is the BBC, massive big BBC Scotland. You'll see this on uh, BBC Scotland on the news and on, is it the Nine, the film here? Quite a lot of other things as well. Anyway, BBC Scotland. And uh, we've got the Science Museum and then the Science Tower. We're not going to go quite that far. We'll just cut across the bridge. There you go. We've got a massive uh, BBC Scotland sign, the Science Museum and the uh, massive tower that's never in use. So then we're going to go across this bridge here and back along there. Right, we've got a big queue inside the BBC, so they must be filming some kind of show today. That'll be the queue for people going in. Not too sure what's on today, actually. I just asked those lovely ladies at the door, and it's Mrs Brown's Boys that's getting filmed. That's where it's filmed. A lot of stuff actually gets filmed here in Glasgow rather than down in England, because it's cheaper, seemingly. So Mrs Brown's Boys Christmas Special, I guess, as she said. Is getting filmed here today so very interesting need a ticket though to get in right what's this what sounds can you make let's give it a wee uh, shot okay there's actually a really cool little uh, burger van here or not a burger van a snack hut i think it is a snack hut it's called the cabin that one right we're going to go over this bridge here so there's the science center and the tower. So I've just read there that it's um, going to be opening again after all these years. Oh, still in the puddle. Um, it's going to be opening in summer 23, April to October. You're going to be able to go up here, folks, the tallest building in Scotland. So I um, have to come back next year and do that. Now, normally on a day like today, the Science Centre would be a perfect place to go and visit. But I think it's the Glasgow School Holidays at the minute, so it'll be for the kids. So we're not going to go. Now, I think there's a couple of steamer boats up here, if I remember right. Is it the Waverley? Yeah, I think the Waverley sits up here. Let's go and have a look. Let's see if we can see it. Yeah, there it is, folks. Look there. The Waverley, which is one of the oldest remaining steam paddle ships in Scotland. Or in the world, maybe. So that is, folks, the Waverley. Still in use after all these years. Now, look at this. Horrific. When you actually zoom in on the uh, Science Centre. It's just absolutely... I don't you can actually see, but it's just full of kids, as we thought. It's uh, school holidays. So it's a perfect place on a wet day to take all the family. So it's absolutely, yeah, full of kids. But a very impressive building though, Science Centre. Right, just while we're up this end, folks, let's have a quick look at this tower. And there it is, right up. God, it goes on forever. That's the observation bit at the top. 
Right folks, I'm actually under the tower. It's absolutely immense. When you get here, it's absolutely colossal. Can't believe I got right up to it. The lift's kind of, obviously goes all the way to the top. But it's like being in Dubai. It's absolutely huge. Look at it. You can actually get right under the lift bit. Look. Wow. It's so much bigger than you think. Jeez, oh. That was an amazing tower. Actually, very impressed with it. I wasn't actually that impressed from further back. When you get closer, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Right, sorry for the rabbit but I think that's my favourite. That's my new favourite tower. New favourite building. It's amazing. Anyway, let's turn you around here. So, there's a science centre. Can't think what that is over there. And here's all the uh, buildings here in Glasgow. So we're going to make our way back now to the centre via Armadillo, the Hydro and uh, head back into the town because I think it's going to pour down with rain again. Well, just while we're here, up there is the Glasgow Transport Museum, which is an awesome museum up there. If you ever get a chance to go in there, folks, it's really, really good. There's actually another steamship over here, actually. The Queen Mary, what's this? So we've got another historic paddle ship. This one's a TS Queen Mary. I don't think I've heard of this one before, but anyway, this is a, another steamship here. Back in the day, folks, all the shipyards are all down here. This Glasgow is just absolutely full of shipyards. Obviously no longer. All the way down here, the Clyde. It was world famous for shipbuilding. And all they've kept now is that tower down here. That one, which again, I thought you could go up, but go down past that just shortly. But yeah, that's all that's left of the actual the kind of shipbuilding industry. Right, the rain's off for the minute, folks. So we're approaching the hydro. There's, um, let's see, the BBC there. And uh, I think that's the studio. See that big grayed out bit there? I think that's where they film everything in there. Right, so we've got the, um, that's the Crown Plaza Hotel behind me there. And uh, we've got the Armadillo and the S-E-C-C-C-C-C-C-C-C-C-C-C. And then the hydro. So behind me there is the hydro. Um, you can actually see in it. It's like just a clear kind of like a mesh. And that's the venue, the hydro, the Ovo Hydro. Right, we're right under the, uh, the crane now, folks. Look at that. Huge. So there's no sign of that being open to the public at all. I thought they were going to make it into like a tourist attraction so you can go up the top. But I can't see any, uh, any indication of anything being done. So just sitting here to look at, basically. So another look behind me there, if you can see that, uh, the bridge on the Clyde and then you can see the armadillo and the crane there as well. So rain stayed off, touch wood, heading back into Glasgow now. Um, didn't really find much remnant, remnant of the Glasgow Garden Festival, so it was just too wet when uh, I was over there. But these are tundras that you can see, there's one just behind me there and another one I think at the back, just in front of the uh, armadillo, they were used at the Garden Festival. Um, but yeah, but I think all these flats, apartments are all built on the site now off the old uh, festival site. Nothing left. As I said, I'll try and put some photographs on if I can find the name of collection of myself and my sister. There was a giant roller coaster, I remember that. Yeah, God, that was a long time ago. There's more uh, shipbuilding memorabilia. Right, it's starting to rain again. Honestly, I spoke too soon. Let's get back into the centre. So you can kind of see I've done a big loop. That's the Kingston Bridge. There's that uh, angel thing on that tower in Govan. So I've really gone all the way around here, from the back of these flats, around that, right to the tower, and then back along here, along the Clyde. It's a good little walk, folks. It's not long, but it's a nice, nice walk, on a nice day anyway. Um, yeah. Puddles, puddles everywhere. Now these are nice little uh, apartments down the front. Nice little views over the, the Clyde. So a sad memorial there, a couple of little memorials to the Cheapside fire disaster, 1960. Uh, 14 firemen and six, I think said six civilians got killed. Not really heard about that before, so I need to look it up. I think it said on Bothwell Street or just near that area. So uh, that's quite sad. I'll look that up when I go home and see what that was uh, all about. 
so we're short on time today, but another place I want to go and do in Glasgow is the Mural Walk. Glasgow's famous for its massive big murals on the side of uh, the older kind of buildings, which is down the other side of Glasgow. But uh, today I just don't have enough time. However, if I can use another one of my £15 tickets before uh, they finish and if the weather's a bit nicer, I might come back and do the mural, the mural walk. Uh, that'd be something a bit different to kind of to do. As you see, the rain's back on again. The Glasgow's been used loads in uh, Hollywood blockbusters to uh, um, be the backdrop for like Glasgow, San Francisco, a lot of American cities. Um, just with its architecture, places like this, folks. This is the old uh, tobacco warehouse. As you can see there, a little double up for, for like Gotham City and all these kind of places. It's just so old and kind of. It's kind of like a big jail, isn't it? All these unused buildings. Amazing. So, again, folks, you've got the, uh, the modern buildings here and then the old right next door. Look at that. Beautiful old building. Again, very New York style. £15 Scotrail day out. I think I'll try, try and get another two or three. I think it finishes on the 16th of November, maybe the 6th of November. So I'll try and get another couple in. But uh, thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate it. Remember to subscribe and like, and uh, we'll see you all very soon.